Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 6th of January, Holy Mother, the Church calls us to the memory of Blessed Andre Bessette. Andre Bessette was born in Quebec of Canada to French parents. Uh, he was orphaned at 12 and in his youth he worked in USA at various jobs as a banker, as a shoemaker, as a farmhand, as a grocery person and so many things and failed at everything. At 25, his admission to Holy Cross Brothers in Canada last after a year's novitiate on account of his ill health, which I incidentally had assailed him right from birth, depriving him of regular schooling, leaving him unlettered all his life. Finally, admitted at instance of the bishop, he was appointed doorkeeper at Notre Dame College in Montreal. Apart from janitor, sacristan, infirmarian, launderer, barber, etc., he once humorously said, When I joined the community, the superior showed me the door, and I remained there 40 years. Helpful by nature, effective as counselor, and unassumingly pious, he spent long nights on his knees in prayer in his room near the door. On his windowsill facing Mount Royal stood a little statue of St. Joseph, his devotion to whom was so profound that he obtained healing for many by rubbing them lightly with oil taken from the lamp burning before him, suspicion and skepticism giving way to awe as the pile of crutches, canes and braces grew. St. Joseph cures not I. Andre desires to build a magnificent chapel in saint's honor was fulfilled by saving the nickels and dimes earned from haircuts to college students. The walls of the chapel built atop a steep hill. Having come upon 1931, money ran out. Put a statue of St. Joseph in the middle. If he wants a roof over his head, he'll get it, commented someone, and get it he did. The oratory on Mount Royal, which took 50 years to build, now houses Andre's mortar remains. Andre Besete, who died aged 92, was beatified by Pope Saint John Paul II in the year 1982. A beautiful story of a beautiful person, blessing Andre Besete. The one good thing that I really liked about him right now is that he was doing everything under the earth. He was a janitor, he was uh, what not, uh, he was a potter, uh, but he was unlettered, he uneducated, but he's saint. And those educated brothers and fathers who were there, his superiors there, they're not saints, they're not known, do not know what is the state of the soul, but he is in heaven. So my physical condition, my social condition cannot condition me in my journey to heaven. Amen.